what do you what do you like about music? What do I like about music? I like that it doesn't need an explanation. I like that it doesn't uh, that it has its own language. I like that the only visual that it has is whatever visual you create inside your own mind. I like that it has no beginning and no end, no history and no future. And I like that uh, it can be done by anyone at any moment at any time uh, without anyone. And I like that it can be done completely without any kind of instrument, that it can be done only with the body and with the spirit and with the mind. And I like that it's so free. And, uh, and that it's sad that so many people try to make it uh, not free and so little and so inside of a box. Yeah, kind of labeled. Kind yeah, of like. labels and lines and yeah. judgments and. You don't like to be put in different, uh, yeah, labels and stuff. But still, do you have like kind of image you want to keep up? Uh, no, I think my my image is is created by me doing. You know, I don't I don't think about doing and then do. I just do. I create because it's it's what I need to do. It's my instinct as an animal, as a person, as a human. You know, and so. And so uh, through that, then an image is created, yeah. you know, and so if my music sounds a certain way to people, then they say, oh, it's this type of music. And if I come off as a certain type of person, then they say, oh, he's this type of uh, person, artist, yeah. musician, whatever it is, you know, but I, I, I don't feel the need for, for any of it. I'm not even a musician. I don't know music. I, I've never taken a music class. I don't know anything about theory, you know, and I know only about what, uh, what makes me feel good. Yeah, and um, uh, I think Cedric once said in an interview that music, art, and all of that stuff are bigger than us. Mm -hmm. And um, what what are your spiritual spiritual beliefs? Um, well, that's a big <laughs> one. <laughs> My spiritual beliefs. Uh, I don't know. I b I believe. I'll make it simple. I, I believe that my purpose here on earth is to be a, a better spirit and a better person and a better soul. And I and I gear my life all towards that goal, to be better, to be better at what I do, to be a better son, to be a better father, to be a better husband, to be a better to be a better person in general. And I think the only true I think the only true goal of our souls is to be at one with God. You know, and so I constantly want to be at one with God. Now, what is God? I, I don't know. I couldn't possibly have the answer. But I know that it's uh, God is beyond uh, definition, yeah. is beyond form, is beyond, you know, I laugh at the idea of God being a man with a penis, with a white beard, <laughs> you know. I laugh at the idea of God being definable. I laugh at, the, I laugh at religion only because it wants to categorize God with, with human with human elements. It wants to say that God is an angry God and a jealous God and a vengeful God and a giving God and a loving God. God is only love. You know, God God doesn't have uh, jealousy or revenge. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It could yeah. it just it's it's not within the laws of the universe. And so, you know, I, I don't know what it is. I, I laugh that people think that they can conceive what God is. Mm -hmm. All I know is that I want to get closer to whatever God is so that whenever I die and I can conceive it I can I can be as prepared as I am as I can be, you know. It, it was the the Greek philosopher Henophanes uh, uh, once said that uh, if horses could speak uh, and draw, they would draw. They would say that God is a horse, you know. <laughs> and that's what humans do. Humans can speak, so they say, "Oh, of course, God is a man." You know, I, I would be more prone to believe them if they said God is a woman, because a woman can create life and a woman can give birth, but. God is a man, <laughs> you know, so it just see the concepts of God are so small that they just that I find them very funny. Yeah. But the, but some very at the same time, some very amazing and wonderful stories have been created by such small concepts of God. You know, the Bible is an incredible uh, little story. Yeah, that was very interesting. I liked it.